What's the most out of touch thing you heard from rich people? Living outside Jackson Hole, this sister of a friend told me how hard it is to live there. You have to fly in your help, cleaning, yard work, from Salt Lake. I had no words. A coworker asked me what bank I used for my safe deposit box. I said I didn't have a safe deposit box. She said, but where do you keep your jewels, then? Edit. I said I didn't have any jewels and she just said, ha, huh, and changed the subject. I actually get the sentiment, if I owned anything expensive, I would probably also have a safe place for it. But something about it made her sound like a Disney villain even though she was a very nice person. It's a very vivid random memory, thanks Op. While working for a valet parking service in the Santa Barbara area years ago, a woman hired us for a jewelry showing she was having at her giant house in Montecito, and while we were waiting for guests to arrive, my boss informed me that when the guests get in their cars to leave, that I needed to be sure to close their car doors or else they would just drive off with their doors open. As they're so used to people closing their car doors for them. Being told by a guy who has not worked a day in his life and living off of inherited money that poor people are poor because they don't invest their money right. I needed a bicycle to get to a new job. Found someone online selling a really nice bike for cheap so got in touch. Took two trains to their house to buy the bike and when I got there it was a mansion. The bike was in a garage full of supercars and classics. They asked me where my truck was to load the bike on. When I told them I was riding the bike home they laughed and before I knew it everyone in the house had been called to the garage to hear how I was riding the bike three hours home in the dark. No one offered me a lift, they just acted blessed at how they didn't have to do such things. When they tell me I should just take off and go somewhere for a week. Even if I made the money, I'd be eating the time itself from the no PTO I get. During the pandemic, senior management held company-wide calls about mental health and well-being. One piece of advice always stuck with me. They suggest to stop the tedium of working in the same space, to move your desk to another room in your house. I had a choice between facing different walls. How could your family accountant let that happen? When talking about how growing up, we couldn't pay the bills and had our water electricity shut off multiple times. My boss at the time made between 5-10x more than I did. We were talking about big purchases like a car or house and he says something along the lines of, well you'll get a great deal since you'd all cash purchaser. I just kind of smile and nod, knowing that, on my salary that he was aware of, I was not even an all cash purchaser of groceries. Back when I was in my early 20s my beat up old car broke down in my job's parking lot when I was about to drive home. I was getting paid $10 an hour as a pastry chef at a catering company. This was barely enough to cover my rent. I was obviously pretty distraught over my car dying. My boss, company owner, ended up saying to me, why are you so upset? It's just a car. Just buy another one. I couldn't even respond, I just looked at her like she was crazy. I work for a startup based out of San Francisco. I'm a remote employee halfway across the country, and am therefore a sort of second class citizen. My direct peers who work in SF make at least double what I do and they almost all had extremely privileged upbringings. They went to top 10 business schools, they, summer, in Tahoe, that kind of thing. I was in the home office a few months ago for our annual kickoff meeting, and one of the speakers pulled the room. Has anyone here worked at Amazon? Nobody raised their hand. Wow, I'm surprised. I said, does warehouse count? And the entire room erupted in laughter. For certainly, I just told a very enjoyable joke. If you can't afford childcare, just hire a nanny. We love ours. Some jagoff in Congress, and this was before the pandemic, thought that our average salary was $100,000 per year. Why did you take your car to get looked at? Just get a different one. I don't know why you waste your time with repairmen like that. I was between jobs and a bunch of my friends told me that I should take the time to go travel the world. Like A. Just because someone doesn't have a job doesn't mean they can just up and travel the world in fact the opposite is more likely, but also b. You motherfuckers thought the reason I wasn't traveling the world because I hadn't thought of it?